Good morning. Mm-hmm. We'll just wait for a few people to join and wait till 10.30. No so I'm just right. going to go and grab my coffee. Oh, I'm talking to myself. No, you're not. Hi. I need water, so... <laughs> Morning, everybody. We're on a birthday theme today. I just thought it would be really rather lovely to have some simple artwork that you could use as birthday cards for people or if you've got a birthday coming up i've got a, lot, a couple of girlfriends birthdays this weekend so that's why it inspired me um, so i'm gonna i'm gonna put some graphics in here as well so i'm gonna say happy birthday and then their name I did a bit of waving. <laughs> Took your job, sorry. So I hope everybody's well. My goodness me, it's gonna be a hot, hot day today. I'm glad our lesson is in the morning so we've got the day to be able to be. Do you wanna show everyone your talk? No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I really want to just turn it and do it. <laughs> really? Really? You're really? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us. It's not even beading. I know, but it's what I was wearing yesterday, and I'm not up for doing lots of washing, so I'm wearing it again. There's four kids and a husband and in and me washing is a lot of washing days. Anna. So yeah. Nom, 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 nom. So we're gonna do some birthday bunting today and we are going to do a lovely happy message um in anticipation for what Boris might be saying to us tomorrow. But also that we could use that theme of happy to make the word happy birthday if we wanted Um, so I'm actually going to start with my blank piece of card here and I'm going to think about my happy birthday first happy birthday so I'm just vaguely writing it so that I can make sure that I've got enough space and then I've done my bunting line there and then I'm going to write It's Bryzo's birthday today, so I'm going to write Brutus Bryzo. I'm going to write Bryzo. And then it's Josie's, and actually it's Josie's tomorrow. So actually, actually no, it's not Bryzo's today. It's Bryzo's on Monday, and it's Josie's tomorrow. So I'm going to write happy birthday, Josie. And it's your wedding anniversary on Monday. And Bryzo is our wedding anniversary, and that J is a bit big. So... I'm just, I feel like today's that's Sunday. another reason why it's lovely to write nice and lightly because then you can, and I'm just going to shorten that, Joe. Red one like that. Green. So now I've got my wording. I'm going to go there, actually. I'll spread that out a bit. Josie. 
to my gorgeous friends. Thanks for the reminder, Carol. Oh. You're welcome, Carol. Okay, so Three, now I'm going to start to build up a layer of bunting balloons. So circles, sort of. I mean, you can do them whatever shape you like, but I'm going to do big circles so they're like those really big ones and you could do like I confetti like in them oh yeah look there's my birthday balloons those birthday those balloons were there. have been in here as a string of birthday balloons that some lovely person did it for me on my birthday which is embarrassing me back in october and look at that rubber it's lasted till then and that's pretty terrifying um I got new paint brushes in my first ever set of pastels oh lovely Gorgeous. Mm. Oh my god. Hello. So I'm just starting to layer up the balloons into We're also starting to think about how we're going to continue this if we continue this after lockdown. So if anyone wants to give me their feedback on On Wednesdays we could do it at like uh, 5.15 still, because... You have sports, but don't you have gymnastics on a Wednesday? Do I? Have we changed it to them? I think we have, because you got cricket at Fletching on a Friday. Mm. With Inca. I swear we changed it to Monday. Yeah, maybe it's Monday. Yes, you're right. Um, swim squad on Tuesday. It's busy, busy. So anyway, I'd love to know everyone else's feelings of if they think it could work when they would want to do it, if it would work for them, how it could work for them. So I'm just sort of building up a layer of balloons. We're doing birthday parties. I've got a couple of girlfriends whose birthdays it was at this time of year, just reminds me. Can you pass me that? What do you want? Paper? No. Oh, the paint. There we go. Oh, wow, Dave, well done. I'm doing a rainbow, obviously. Gorgeous. Mama, this Thursday we need to clap. Yeah. We always forget to clap. I know, we forgot, didn't we? We've done it twice. I can hear the beautiful birds. I can hear your tummy. <laughs> so I'm getting some nice ribbon in there. So just doing a nice, and then, there we go. So there's my simple, I'm gonna give it a bit more depth actually. Just add a few more in here just to give it a real extravagant feel of birthday balloons. And you could do like, and then I do, I do these sort of like, you know, if it's for a wedding one, I do them all just white. If it's for a little girl's birthday, I just do them all pale pink for her first birthday or something. If I do it um, for a six-year-old's birthday or 12-year-old's birthday, I might I'm do multicolored. Zoom party's next Sunday. So look at the difference between there and there. It's like really started to build up. I think that's probably plenty. And uh, let me just add a couple more in there. Fill that gap in there. And then we'll just get rid of that bunting line that I've drawn in here. So now what I'm starting to think about whilst I'm rubbing this out is I'm starting to think about the writing. And I'm starting to see that actually that birth, happy birthday is too close. I haven't left enough space between the balloons. So I'm just going to move it up the page slightly. Happy birthday. 
because we love a bit of white space in there. It's there our go, grandma's that's better. birthday tomorrow and we got her a subscription for the art class. Oh, thank you. What a lovely idea. Yeah, I've got a couple of, this, of people who've ordered subscriptions this weekend that I'm I doing. I think we can keep doing it on Saturday. Um, I don't think we can. I think we should make it like 11, maybe, because netball. Yeah. Daisy's quite sporty. She rather likes her sport. Morning cows. Next morning. Sand mindset. Oh, morning Sammy. Ginger morning boy cousin joined. Sam. Okay. So I'm just now so having done some nice writing, I'm now making it into bubble writing by just simply writing over it. And changing the, so like there, I felt that it was nicer if I brought it to the same height as the B. So I've gone up to there and I'm going to come down to there. I'm just going to, but again, it's all still in pencil, so you can always change it. Morning, sorry, I got, I'm sorry, but late got lost on the trails. <laughs> That's what Zoe said. Good morning, Zoe. Welcome. We're doing birthday bonanza. You can either start from the beginning when we finished, or you can join us now. Up to you. Oh my goodness, how far have you run this morning, Zoe? Night green. Inca, hello. Hello. So now I'm doing this for Josie and Bryzo. Oh my gorgeous. Monogram letters today, thanks, Ness. Oh. Next week, can we do the day based pictures? Oh, maybe this could be okay. Okay, let's that's a good idea. Um, unfortunately, what? because of the art class subscription, I kind of I'm really sorry. I actually I didn't do anything about it on my website at all, which is really I stupid of me. It sort of really passed me by. Um, Mind you, we can make sure. I can't think what's happening next week. What are we? Oh, we are. We, oh, we could. We definitely could. We're doing teacups and things. So we can definitely make Monday yeah, about VE day. That's perfect. Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday because we've got teacup. Oh, perfect. Next week could definitely be about VE day. I think that's such a good idea. Thank you. Yes. Because I could complete that. Yeah, that's pop luck. But yes, definitely. What are we doing next week? <laughs> We're doing V Day. We're going to do V Day celebrations. Mama, my hands still. Okay, so today it's all about birthday parties, and we're just going to do lots and lots of colour. Ow, poor Daisy fell over. We went on a walk last night, but we kept running, and she fell over how many times? Three times. Three times yesterday, but two of them were on the walk. Right. Look at her hands. There's one hand, and there's the second hand. And then my knees were. Okay, we won't show your knees. Um, okay, so now I've I've got my pencil marks that I'm happy with. So I'm now going to... Can we do some cakes and sandwich Yes, drawings? absolutely, we can do cakes and sandwich oh, drawings. So it. I've just drawn circles here, so I'm just going to basically... It's got worse overnight. You've got some nice big bruising coming, haven't you? Okay, Daisy wants to show her leg. You can also see what she's wearing, perhaps, that she's got her Jimmy Jams on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have let that poor little Daisy, secret. Poor Daisy, poor Daisy. Poor Daisy. Struggling with the knots at the end. Okay, so with the knots at the end, um, all you need to do is, like a circle with the balloons, but make it more of a teardrop like that, and then do another teardrop. Yeah, it's and then I actually I almost think that that's too neat and tidy. I prefer it to be a bit more squiggly because like if it was ribbon or string, Mom, it wouldn't be perfect, it. would it? So I just added a few. I I think that first one I just did. I was holding my pen. I was trying to show you what how to do it perfectly. But actually, you're much better off having a bit for more of a wiggle to it because that's what ribbon or string would look like, wouldn't it? So just sort of add a few wiggles in. So I'll go over and do this one over here now. 
Mama, I found this one last night. Oh, days. You're so brave. So just do a teardrop, and then it doesn't matter which direction the other teardrop goes in. I'm using the piece of paper that I've got, the shape that I've got and done. So I'm going to go up there into that little gap there. And then I'm going to hang the two bits of string down and I'm going to make them two different sizes. Like that, there we go. And now I'm going to carry on building up my balloon bunting and getting the shapes in. bit like a game of Jenga really. And I am going to do this in V day colours. I'm going to do red, white and blue. This I've got my most popular colours combo that I've got of these is my multicoloured ones. That's the one I do most of and then probably just the baby baby blue ones or the pale whites. But I'm going to, I haven't actually got a red, white and blue one. So I think that's quite a fun idea. Um, you could do some confetti in the balloons and do them as white and then do inside confetti, do red, white and blue. That might be quite fun. Or you could do Union Jack bunting balloons. But I'm going to keep mine simple and I'm just going to do red, white and blue balloons. Because I think that's enough of a statement within itself, really. This is so simple, but effect. Oh, poo. What have you done? Press stop. No. What? <laughs> Day <laughs> Your god mummy won't mind. <laughs> I christened it. Yeah, you christened it. <laughs> this is so simple, but effective. We can always just clean it. Yeah. I didn't know... Did these live? Okay, so now with the writing, I'm just going to go. Did these lives? Are they every day? No. No, three times a week. Saturday mornings at ten thirty. Mondays at five fifteen, and Wednesday at five fifteen. At least she's not on the live, so she doesn't know. But we still need to. So yeah, come and join us. Because she needs to wash it. Yeah, it's fine. Days don't worry. So now I'm just going over my pencil marks of my message. So this could say absolutely anything. So if you've chosen to do it as cream, you could do happy anniversary. Oh, poo daisy. <laughs> um, or you could do, um, you know, anything you like. Happy V V day. I should be doing happy V E day, but I just I do want to do this for Bryce. So. Are you gonna send it to them? No, I've sent them a video. Is they tear it? I don't think they're on it anyway. No, they're not. Do you know why? No. Because they're busy. They're busy, exactly. Because who wouldn't want to be on this live? <laughs> okay, so everyone's got different interests, haven't they? So, it's, not, it's good to learn new skills, though. Mm. So, here we go. I'm just... Trying to keep my pen really relaxed, trying not to wobble, trying to get my hand to move smoothly on the table. Very pleased to say that Daisy is not doing lots of aggressive rubbing today, so I've got a nice non-wobbly table, which is lovely. I'm trying to make it wobble. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Daisy was trying to make the table wobble and has just knocked the camera over. <laughs> okay, so we just very carefully <laughs> and get the writing in. So I've got happy birthday and I'm going to write Josie. What's Daisy doing? I'm doing the balloons. She's doing the balloons. She's doing multicoloured, lots of gorgeous colour balloons. Jinx. I'm blocked. One, two, three. Oh, I'm just enjoying hearing the birds singing. So, trying to keep a nice steady hand, but a soft hand, 
it's tight to get to keep to follow the line that you want to follow but also very soft if that makes sense it doesn't make sense but try and go try not to hold it for dear life So I'm going to do this and percent, put the line behind it. So not go over there, go behind it. And same with this, I'm going to do that line behind. So I'm going to do this one first. See, that's got a wobble in it, but that's absolutely fine. It doesn't matter. It's almost charming. It's part of the, part of it. And then we'll get this one behind. There we go. Oh, I've got too much on the paintbrush. Can I use your water? Of course you can. Or should I go get some more water? I think you could do with going to get some more, actually, because that it would be much nicer to have a clean... Daisy's water is very dirty. It's really important that you have clean water. It's like a murky swamp. Yeah, colour. and then you lose the bright colours of your of the paint if you've got dirty water. It's really important to have nice, clean, fresh water. Okay, so there's all mine. So now I'm just going to get my paintbrush and I'm going to do red, white, and blue balloons. And I'm going to find a nice size paintbrush. I'm going to use quite a big paintbrush today to get these on. Because I'd really like to get to the word happy today. And I'm going to leave all my lovely pencil markings because I think that adds more detail to the watercolour. Lovely deep blue, lovely bright colour. So making sure I've got lots of water on the page, moving, and that you can actually move the colour on the balloon to where you want it to go. There's lots of different ways you could do it. So I've there's deep, deep colour there. And actually that's quite strong and I almost don't want that much. So because I want less, I'm gonna put water onto my paintbrush and with the clear water, move that. It's so far behind. Or days. you can then get a piece of kitchen roll and actually make it wow, strong blue. less strong that way by going like this. James said hello. Hello. Ollie McClay. Oh, it's a Ollie McClay joined. Other well done, people Ollie. joined. I'm surprised she's awake. I know, impressive. So we'll get these balloons. So again, that's quite strong. So I'm going to now get some water. Not that I mind the strong, but I want it to have that lovely watercolour feel to it. So I'm just. Add that water and then let the water move that strong colour across the page like that. So the white balloons I'm going to leave on the page. I'm not going to put white on the paper. Now I need to do dark blue. Which one's that dark blue? That one, yeah. The, the, I'm using a much thinner brush to make I need to change my brush. Yeah, the size of your brush does make a huge difference. This is a nice size brush for the sizes of the balloons that I'm doing. It's actually, I for me, that's quite a big brush. Yeah, it's I a size one. A Normally I use noughts, nought fours and things. Yes. What size is that, Daze? What size is that brush? Four. Yeah, that's quite big. 
Lizzie, for a, a, I, I mean, we're working on postcard size paper, which is I what I tend what to do. So lots of water again, and now I'm going to get my kitchen roll and I'm going to dab that now that I've got the colour that I'm happy with, just to I make a nice color. corner like that, and then just let it absorb. Please, may we see Daisy's work? Of course you can. Done. Daisy likes to get her work. Right, so now I'm going to get my red. Mm -hmm. Be quick. Eight minutes. I'm nearly there. For once. I know. So, get our red in. And red can look like pink if you're not careful, so it's just making sure it's nice and strong. That red's nice. You like that red? That's a bit orange for me. I like that orange. Mama. Oh no, it's really not. But I'm still not going to go with that one. I'm going to go with this little one here. So I'm getting lots of water to really... My water's a bit far away. I'm going to move my water to a bit closer. Is there any other purples then other than so this So I've one? changed to this colour. Uh, yes. It's fine if she use that one. That's nice, that one. So being careful because you really don't want the red and the blue to run. So I'm making sure that I leave a little Why bit of Daisy, white. What does Daisy's look like? Um, I'm going to leave a little bit of white between the blue and the red just so that they don't run basically because I want to keep the strong colours. So I'm going to just mark that in there like that and then leave, I think, you know, a little bit of paper showing sometimes works really well. So I'm just gonna leave that there. So I hope everyone's had really good weeks. I'm looking forward to hearing what Boris Johnson's got to say tomorrow. I'm looking forward to my ice cream. Oh, we've got the ice, ice cream van coming to the lane today. We've got a lovely WhatsApp group for all our neighbours and someone's organised for an ice cream van to come this afternoon, which I think is absolutely brilliant. You can call him up and he comes. You have, to my, you have to guarantee to spend more than £40. There's enough of us. One of my favourite YouTubers, they, um, they did it. Yeah. It's Dad V Girls and they um did it. Yeah. And they got slush puppies. Oh. It may it's probably not the same thing, but they live in England, so it could be. I think this is just an ice cream man in the in East Grinster, but maybe he does slush I'm puppies. Hungry. Just that hearing girl joined. Good morning, grandma. Okay, so thank you for joining everybody. Mm. So we just go and go as close to the blue without going over oh, really so a nice steady hand I finish my cherries and it's just deciding which ones you're going to do red and white and just sort of mixing out no no fat no rule just going visually with what looks nice You see that blue's gone over into this red balloon, which is lovely. I think that sort of adds to it. So this one I'm now leaving a little bit of white still, just so that the colours don't run into each other. I'm missing one colour. Because I've got a spare one there. Pink. pink? Yeah, but I'm doing pink here. So I've messed up. Oh, it doesn't matter. I think it's gorgeous, days. Yeah, I'm going to do a red there. There we go. I think we just put one more red one in here. You 
spent 30 minutes. And then I'm just going to go over my letters, which really I would maybe think about changing the size of my brush to something smaller. Just go a little bit smaller. So now I'm on a zero three. Still got a lovely fine long end, but it's a much finer brush. Yeah, look at this red one. It's definitely not orangey. Do I need to start using that one? I always think of it as being orange. So, once I've put my pa paintbrush to the paper, I'm making sure I just keep moving my hand along the line and not stopping till I get to the end of the letter. Which one's so you black? can work quite nicely. Is this one black? I'm not sure. I think it's the one on the end, actually. I don't think it's that one. <gasps> that blue is so nice. Bet you didn't even know about that. No, I did not. Look. So we're meant to be at Babington today. Can you imagine how beautiful yes, Babington was? last week. I know. Well, we were setting it up. It was on Monday. We was, uh, actually, we're meant to be there now. Blue. Which blue are you showing? Oh, the blue on the that you've yeah. mixed. No, I just put down. It's yeah. that one. Oh, it's that one. It's That's your favourite colour. Which one's black? That one. No. Oh, I think that one. That one on the end. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing my last thing with two minutes. And then I'm going to do blue ribbons on the ends. Oh, that's got like too much paint on that. So I'm just going to put, pop that on the edge of my palette and just get rid of that like that. So that now my paintbrush has still got as much paint on it. But... It's quite a fine string that, so I didn't want that big. Come out. How do we fly? Okay. Fly, fly away. And then this last pass of piece of piece of ribbon. One minute. Here we go. There we go. Oh Someone look, who oh, I've forgotten. How are you going to use white wool? Yes. Okay, so I just I can't believe I forgot to do Brizo. It is her birthday. Second. Do it in blue. Oh, that's a good idea. But I've done it all in red, so I think I'd like to keep the simplicity of it. Mm. That is a lovely idea, though. I could have done red, white, blue each individual letter, couldn't I? That would have been fun. But I quite like. Longer. Exactly. Oh. What it's eleven o'clock. I got to eleven o'clock. How have we done that? Happy birthday! Um. Okay. So day. Oh, Daisy, yours is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I'm not gonna have time to do my happy today. But I will do it. Look at Daisy's. It's not an art class. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it's not an art class. We'll see you all on Monday at 5.15. Have a wonderful rest of your weekends. It feels like a lovely long weekend, having had yesterday off as well. Um, thanks for joining us. See you Monday.